What's up? Apa khabar? Manakam ni hao. Hey there everyone, I'm Mukesh Ravi or you can call me Cash. I'm known with that name because everyone calls me that but that doesn't mean I have a lot of money. It's not relatable. Don't relate that name, okay? Don't. Okay, enough of that bullshit. Let's get to the point. Okay, in this video, I'm going to tell you why the hell you should visit Taiwan. It is based on four perspectives from me. You people must be thinking by now, why this crazy machang doing video about Taiwan? Instead, got so many other countries in the world you can do. Why? Yeah? Well, it's because this is the first country I visited. Yes. Go problem is it? No problem, right? Shut up and listen. Joking. Don't take it serious. All right. Settle. Bear with me. What am I doing here? Oh yeah. I came here through uh, Isaac volunteering program for my university, University of Malaysia Police. It's like a volunteering program, and I'm a volunteer teacher in in elementary school in Taian. Taian is in the Holy District, is in Taichung. You should Google Map it. And my prof- my job here is to teach teach the children. I teach children English. So this is where my Mat Saleh slang is turned on. You see. Mat Saleh and Malaysian English language goes for vacation about six weeks. So I don't use la. I don't edit rojak words into my dictionary of English while teaching. Imagine I didn't use the word la for I think like so damn long already. I don't know. I think I still don't know. I didn't count lah. Okay, leave that aside. Now about Taiwan. I'm staying in Taichung, Taiwan. It's located in the center western. And has a population about 2.7 million people. People here tell that Taichung is the second biggest city, while the first is Taipei because it's the capital. Obvious, like capital must be big, right? Same like Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur besar, right? So capital big, center. So what's so great about Taiwan? Okay, based on the four perspective I was talking about. First, people. Second, food. Third. Internet and the last tourism spot or pretty known as Lepa, the Palepa, is uh, where we hang out. In the Malaysia. people, the people here in Taiwan, I gotta say, Terbai, the best. They are the most humble, kind, polite, and most friendly people I've ever met in my life. Seriously, man, I'm not joking. With you. Everywhere you go, no matter they know you or not, they will give you a warm smile and they'll greet you with ni hao. Ni hao means hello in Mandarin Chinese. Seriously, you guys should meet with these kind of people. Like back in Malaysia, I, I seldom experience this kind of experience. Really, if Malaysian people, if you visit Taiwan, you will experience it. You will know what I'm talking right now. Like, for instance, in the school I'm teaching, the teachers treat me like a VIP guest, and I'm like amazed. Wow, why are they treating me so nice? I'm like. It's, I'm questioning myself inside, but okay, no problem. They shower me a lot of food. They give me a lot of food. They bring me to places and they spend everything for me. I didn't even spend a single penny since I got here, except for buying keychains and all the stuff. And not all of them, not all of them can speak English. Some of them do try, but it's okay with me. I. They have people who can translate for me, so I'm fine. But some of them, even they try their best to speak, and I can understand them. So the food. it's fine. I can say, "Food heaven, peeps. Food heaven." You can find so many mouth-watering dishes, and the prices are also cheap, and you have expensive too. But who cares? We want to eat it. I just want to eat it. Their famous food is known as chou tofu. Chou tofu is also called stinky tofu. That I didn't quite like it because I don't know why I did. I didn't like the taste, but who knows? Maybe you will like it because different taste, but different taste, guys. Okay, you can find food like in every corner, and you know there are Seven Eleven. You can have dinner. In it. They have dinner. They have rice. They have noodles. You can sit there. You can eat it. And the best part of Seven Eleven, they have this. You see here, this my friend. If you bring it to Malaysia. You are a millionaire, man. 
you are a bloody millionaire. And they got so many types of food. I can't lay down because there's like too many. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. If you ever come down to Taichung, Taichung City, my friend recently just opened a shop here. I just recently made friend with him, and he's a good friend. The cafe name is Seventeen Seventeen Cafe. Yes. They are open in an Australian style concept. The food is super delicious, and the beverages there are damn good. You should try their Irish latte. It's tasty, man. And the guy handling the shop is super friendly, and he's from Hong Kong. The price is cheap. Seriously, you can get a discount there. The cafe is Australian concept. So about the food, there's and still the much more you can do. This is my favorite part. Internet here, super fast, unlimited. That was made super fast and unlimited. Even your mobile data plan is unlimited with 3G and 4G speed. Compared to Malaysia, oh, sorry Malaysia, you can't win this battle. You can't fight to win this battle. I think some of you are even buffering this video right now from Malaysia. No offense. Why suffer? Come on down to Taiwan. Bring your family. Shift your family here. You can stay here. Oh, your wish. No offense. I even did the speed test for the LAN cable connection and it reached 99.50 megabyte per second. 99.50. Imagine that. That speed is godlike, bro. Godlike. And the last perspective. Lepa, or tourism spot. Okay, in Taiwan, you have so many wonderful places to visit and too many beautiful sceneries. The most famous is the Sun Moon Lake. Sun Moon Lake is a beautiful lake. It's, I think it's a man-made lake, I think. Man-made. And I went there and I was amazed at the beauty. It's so beautiful and so calm. Simply awesome, brother. The best place to hang out in Taiwan is probably the night market. There's one night, ma night market I went that day is Feng Chia Night Market. Feng Chia Night Market is the biggest night market in Taiwan. Food heaven and heaven for shoppers. You can, you can do shopping, variety of clothing, watches, so many things. There's so many cheap stuff there and ex expensive too. And in Taiwan, they have two types of uh, places like country and city. If you, if you search your dinner piece, you go to country. If you want to enjoy cow cow, you want to see chicks and chicks, you want to see handsome guys like me, you go to city. Alright, thank you guys Simple. for watching the video. This is my second video and I'm kind of like nervous so if I did any problem, any mistakes, then I'm so sorry. And about the 1770 cafe, I've added the address right down in the description over there. And if you want more information about the places in Taiwan, you can add me in Instagram and you can see a photo there's a whole section about Taiwan I did my visit to Taiwan I've add my link address in the description down there and if you would be kindly enough to hit the subscribe button thank you very much for watching this video good day